And astronomers at NASA are making a first-time announcement revealing an out-of-this-world discovery that may prove there is other life in outer space. And One America's Russ Niederhoff reports on the group's historic finding and further research they will be launching in the coming weeks. Are there other people out there in the universe? <sighs> That's a good question. What do you think? Well, NASA may be one step closer to answering that question once and for all. On Wednesday, the Space Exploration Group announced they discovered a brand new group of planets orbiting a star not too far from Earth. The group includes seven Earth-sized planets positioned less than 40 light years away from the constellation Aquarius. The masses are reportedly orbiting tightly around TRAPPIST-1, a dim dwarf star that is almost the size of Jupiter. Three of these planets are located in what is known as the habitable zone, meaning liquid water and possibly life could exist. The other four planets are right around the habitable zone as well and may contain traces of life, possibilities NASA's team is over the moon about. For me, it's mind-blowing. The first time I saw what the system had in it, I just was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> and I looked at the data myself, I'm like, yep, yeah, there they all are. It's just, I would have never predicted this. It's beyond, you know, anything I could have ever dreamt of. And the possibilities don't stop there. Emmanuel Jahin of the University of Liege says, quote, there are about 200 billion stars in our galaxy. Multiply that by 10 and you have the number of Earth-sized planets that could exist. And if just one out of a million of those had intelligent life, there would be literally millions of civilizations out there. Well, if there wasn't, it'd be an awful waste of space. Scientists found three of the planets last spring and the other four throughout the past several months. NASA adds this is the highest number of planets it has ever discovered around a single star within the habitable zone. But finding them is just the first step. NASA will now be taking off into a new adventure, studying the planet's environments and the atmosphere around them. The Hubble Space Telescope is currently being used to screen four of the planets, observing them for the presence of hydrogen-dominated atmospheres. NASA's next step will come in 2018, when the James Webb Space Telescope will be sent to the planets to assess their chemical fingerprints, temperatures, and surface pressures, key factors that determine their habitability. But the bottom line is that uh, many of them may be a bit too hot or a bit too big. We really have to wait until we can see the atmospheres to know how hot or cold the planets really are. And that's why the Trappist planets are so relevant, because they actually, unlike a lot of the other habitable zone planets, we can actually assess them in the near future. Whatever those results may be, NASA's excitement at this first time finding still remains, as it brings us just one step closer to discovering we are not alone. A stranger from the outside. Ross Niederhoff, One American News.